Hey guys, what's going on? It's Todd here, and welcome to the Todd Napper Talk Show. Uh, I just wanted to kind of stop by and talk to you for a couple of minutes and kind of tell you what I've been thinking about today. And i kind of been thinking about the differences between a microwave meal and a crockpot meal. Uh, we live in an instant society. Uh, we want instant gratification. You know, if we're hungry, we want to be able to grab a meal out of the freezer toss it into a microwave, push a couple of buttons, and boom, two minutes later, you got yourself a full course meal. Uh, you know, we got instant mashed potatoes, we got instant corn, we've got instant soup. Uh, you know, you take some hamburger patties out of the freezer, throw them in the microwave, boom, two minutes later, you got hamburgers. Uh, you can do fish sticks, chicken, so many different things you can just cook out of the microwave. And so it's that instant gratification. Now, a crock pot, it takes a little bit of preparation. Uh, you have to get some water, you have to cut up some vegetables, uh, you have to cut up some meat, you've got to let it simmer, you, there's some, you got to let it, you've got to add some flavor to it. Now, I'm just kind of going off of what I've seen here. I've never actually done this myself, so I'm not a true expert by any means and no means of the stretch of imagination. So I'm just kind of hoping that the things that I'm talking about that go into a cro crock pot actually exist because frankly I have no idea. Uh, but what I have seen, you know, you've got some corn, uh, you got some potatoes, uh, you've got some carrots. Uh, God forbid you put some onions in there. Hate onions. Uh, then you have your meat, uh, whatever type of meat you want to put in there. You can do uh, steak. You can do um, you could do uh, what's this, the other thing that I'm thinking of you know you could do chicken of course you could do chicken uh, you could do uh, what in the world is that roast there we go pot roast you could do a nice little pot roast in there um, and then you set the timer and you let it sit and you let it marinate and you let it slow cook for over you know sometimes up to eight hours you know um, at least three or four hours you know you let this thing cook but once you bite into this roast, it's so tender and it's so soft and it's so good. And some of the best meals I've ever had came out of a crock pot. But it was because it took time. Uh, and I began to think about the differences between the two. You know, you have instant gratification, you know, decent meal, but not okay. But it's usually gone pretty quickly. Uh, but then you have the nice crock pot with the nice meal that comes out of it and some of the best some of the best tasting food you'll ever have. And I began to think about the correlations in our relationships uh, that way. Uh, we live in a society to today that we want everything right now, instant, instant, instant. Like I said, throw, throw a meal in the microwave, two minutes later it's done. You stick some bread into a machine, push down a button, a couple minutes later, boop, there pops the toast. And we want everything right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. You know, send, type out an email, send it halfway across the world, and it's there in seconds. Uh, you know, if you want to order something from New York, uh, you, know, you could order it from Amazon or whatever, and you can have it here the next day. Uh, a few, quite a few, a few years ago, it wasn't that way. You had to wait. There was anticipation, and uh, nowadays everything's just right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, and. I began to think about our relationships that way and how that affects our relationships and affects our friendships because if we're not careful we begin to look at our friendships as instant gratification uh, we want to build a relationship with someone right now we want to have a deep emotional heartfelt relationship with someone and you've only known them for two days um, and it's one of those things where you want what married couples have had for 50 years you want it in two days and I've been in this little I've been in this little journey myself the last year or so and I know I know what it's like to think of how I just wanted to you know have a nice relationship with somebody and but have it in a week um, and I began to learn as I went through this process that if I wanted to build something that lasts it's going to take time it's going to take preparation on my part to look within myself and see some things that I know that I needed to change and to know that I needed to work on to prepare myself to have this long-term relationship um, it, and to be able to 
throw in a co crock pot, so to speak. You know, I, too many times we want to have an instant relationship. We want it to be a microwave relationship. And the problem with that is we try to put something together for so long and have something that's so good, but yet because it's so shallow, it's so quick, it doesn't have time to grow, it falls apart. And we see friendships that just fall by the wayside, you know, time and time again because we're just so focused on the instant gratification right now, right now. We need that relationship right now, right now, right now. Whenever we haven't looked in on ourselves and say, you know what, what can I contribute to this relationship? What can I contribute to this friendship? And it's those, if you really look at friendships that last, if you look at relationships that last, it's those relationships that took time to get to know each other, to get deep down and, and, and have those deep conversations and just those times of laughter and joy and good times. But it also takes bad times too. To, because if you just have an instant gratification relationship, if you just have one of those instant relationships, the first problem that you come against, it's going to fall apart. If you have an instant relationship, an instant gratification, what can I get? What can I get? What can I get? What can I get? You know, and we nothing. We don't look in our in ourselves and contribute. See what we can contribute to the relationship is very likely going to fall apart because it's going to take time to develop that friendship and develop that relationship to see if you even have what it takes to be compatible. And and that goes with our relationships, but also talk it goes the same with God. Uh, too many times we think, and I've been in this same boat, and I've felt the same thing that, you know, I feel like I should know everything that I should know about God all at one time, and just should know everything that God has for me in my life all at one time. I want to know now, God, now, now, instant gratification. Instant, I want a microwave relationship with God. I want, but the problem with that is, is it cheapens our experience. It cheapens our experience with God. Uh, if we don't take the time to spend the time in prayer, to spend the time in reading the Bible, and spend that time in study, if we try to just get something instantly from God, then it cheapens our relationship. It cheapens that experience. So, if we begin, if we want to have a true, strong, root, deep rooted relationship with God, He's not going to show us everything all at one time. He's not going to show us all that we need to know about Him all at one time. So, we need to spend time with Him in prayer. We need to spend time with Him in Bible study. We need to spend time. If you want to get to know somebody, you need to spend time with them. Talk to them. Get to know. Get to get to really truly know them, and then you'll be amazed to see how deep that relationship goes. And you might be surprised to find out you just might have had a best friend and didn't even know it because you took the time. So with God, spend time with Him in prayer. Spend time with Him in Bible study and reading the Bible and slowly, slowly, slowly over time. There's going to be some times he, bam, he does give you that awesome revelation of him all at one time. But that's just a small part of him. He wants to show you more. So, my advice to you today is don't be looking for a microwave relationship. Don't be looking for those microwave relationships and friendships, especially with God. But go deeper. You want to have a friend for life? Spend some time with somebody. Get to know them. Too many times we make snap judgments because of just that one experience because we want, we want that instant now, now, now. Not all good things come instantly. Sometimes the good things come to those who wait. Thanks for stopping by. If you like my show, if you like, my show like us on Facebook, share our page, like us on YouTube, and, and share it to everybody. Let's get some people liking this page, man. Thanks.